All right, as you can see, uh, I got all my stuff kind of pulled out so I can give you a little bit closer look inside. And then uh, we'll hop inside and I'll pack everything in so that you can see uh, more of what it's like when I've got like all my belongings. To it. It's not too much, this is more like my scuba gear, my, my surfboard, and like the fun things that kind of, you kind of got to move around a little bit when you want to use them. But, um, I told you why I lived in the van and now I want to tell you a little bit more about what it's like to really live in the van. Um, so today is my day off uh, and I'm out here at Doc Weiler State Park. I just went surfing, I got my uh, swimsuit hanging. Uh, drying things is kind of a big deal. Uh, if, if it's not sunny out then it kind of takes a little while so that's one thing. Uh, if you want to surf in your van just to keep in mind um, But I got a bunch of towels in there, so I'm good on that and then, um, and then Keeping a lot of water when you're doing sports and stuff you need to stay hydrated of course, so uh, Got some got that covered um, Let's go inside and check it out I guess I'll go a little bit by little bit. Uh, so, welcome to my dining room. Uh, this actually turns into the lounge too, so uh, if I have any video visitors, I have a guest bed, which uh, this I can pack away and then put another board, uh, and these cushions kind of lay flat, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, got my little plant, Carl, right here. Uh, he's a little succulent. Um, very beautiful. Uh, I like having house plants, so but you got to pick the right ones to have in a van, just because uh, it gets kind of hot in here, um, and also it can get kind of cold, so the temperature fluctuates. Fluctuates, so they got to be sturdy enough, and these little succulents do a really good job. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to the kitchen, and I'll kind of show you how that works, give you a better idea on what I'm eating and what I'm doing in here. are really getting the full package on this one uh, I just wanted to show you the kitchen uh, is also the bathroom sometimes uh. well here's the tour of the van this is the toilet seat that I'm actually sitting on in the video and those bags you can actually buy and they're specific for camping so they ziplock and have odorless powder um, and then moving in here uh, you can see i have my closet to the right with all of my clothes uh, we'll take a look and down this is actually a bathroom compartment that was uh, built in originally but um, the last owner stephanie turned it into a closet and I kept it that way um, for storage, my uh, climbing gear and s snowboard and things like that. Um, and then over here are my spices and all my cooking stuff. Um, I don't keep a lot, but um, there is another couple cupboards that I have some other dry food in as well. Um, and then as you can see down here, it actually has a built-in stove. Um, and this connects to a propane tank outside that you can turn off and on um, and it even has an oven uh, but I don't actually use it because I don't I actually you have to light the pilot light and I just haven't wanted to deal with it um, and you see that pan uh, is a little dirty I actually leave the cooking grease on there um, that saves me the trouble of washing dishes which is can be kind of a challenge sometimes in the van um, this is where I keep some of my fresh produce. Those are my plants, Pablo and Seba. And now on to the bedroom. Um, so I have the twinkle lights that uh, make it look really nice. And now I'll explain a little bit more. All right, now you've seen the van. Um, just want to explain a couple things. Um, so for most of my showering, I go to the gym, I have a membership at 24 Hour Fitness, I use the bathroom, I use the shower, I work out, um, 
I also go for a lot of runs, so I stay pretty active anyways. Um, and then I also work at a cafe, so I can always go there and like fill up my water or have coffee, have a place to hang out, which really makes a big difference. Um, hang out in the van is great, but sometimes, you know, you want to mix it up and it, it can get kind of lonely in here. I mean, I'm in here by myself, so uh, it's nice to get out and be around other people and have something a little bit more comfortable. Um, right now, so right now it's in the couch mode, uh, which I've also used as a guest bed. Uh, if you, you're ever looking for a place to stay, uh, let me know. Um, I also, uh, I use the gym for the bathroom. Um, and I also have a couple other emergency options. Um, I actually have a waste bottle uh, that I'll use on occasion. Um, and then I'll pour that out. Um, and it's not the most glamorous thing, but it works. Uh, and it's kind of the, the things that you don't see in van life. Um, I also, for the other bathroom needs, um, I usually just go to a, a coffee shop or the gym. Uh, my work. Hygiene, uh, I brush my teeth every day. I have like a little uh, spit cup. Uh, and this isn't the most glamorous thing, but it helps for uh, brushing your teeth. And then I, I shave in here. Um, I also will do that stuff at the gym too, um, but I always I don't always like to go to the gym every day, so um, I've got a system that works out pretty good here. Maybe I can make a video on uh, hygiene as well if you're interested in in that. Um, my food, uh, I keep mostly uh, fresh vegetables. Um, and like rice and oatmeal and lots of fruit um, and nuts and I actually I have a fridge in here but uh, because I haven't set the solar panels up it only works if my van is plugged in right now um, and so I have to rewire it so it'll work off of the solar panels it's a it's an older 12 volt uh, Dometic fridge and I can show you that when I do the um, do my solar panel video um, but right now I don't even use it and it works out fine like I actually probably eat healthier because I'm eating like fresh fruits and ve vegetables more often sleeping uh, is fine it takes I think a little bit getting used to I sleep really well generally um, but there is um, kind of a funny thing so I'll park on the side of the road and um, sometimes if a big vehicle goes by it'll actually shake the whole van because of the wind um, and it sometimes if it's a big one it might wake me up for a second but luckily I just fall right back to sleep so that really hasn't been a problem when I first started sleeping in the van I, I was a little bit paranoid about my bikes on the back um, I have them chained up, but I would still like any noise that I heard, I would kind of like wake up and like even sometimes like get up to look outside to see if someone was messing with my van. Um, also just uh, initially when I started sleeping in, I'd be a little bit paranoid about maybe somebody breaking in or something, uh, but I haven't had any trouble with that. It's been really safe. Um, Okay, so that's part one of living in a van. Um, I hope I answered a lot of your questions and please leave comments, ask more questions. I can always make a subsequent video uh, to ans answer any of your questions. Um, it's really exciting and I'd love to give advice uh, to anyone that's thinking about moving into a van. It's really fun, I think it is, uh, as adventurous as you want it to be. Um, so I encourage you to 
Uh, follow your dreams, follow your passions, do what you want to do in life. We've There's so many options to do it and we let things get in the way and it's sometimes just as simple as doing it and not letting things hold you back. So uh, whatever it is, if you have any questions, I'd let's talk it out. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get you to follow your dreams too. I'd love to see that. Uh, I hope this inspires you and uh, keep on living. And I'm Tommy, and I live in a van.